Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be showing you a couple different alternatives to Google Maps. There's been a lot of buzz on the internet about Google Maps and how Apple Maps is not as good as Google Maps and or vice versa or whatever, but we all know in iOS 6, Apple didn't include Google Maps. Well, I'm going to show you how you can add it to iOS 6. Very simple. All you need to do is open Safari. Go to Google Maps. You, you need to type in maps.google.com. And you need to click on that link. Of course, let's tap on that to open it up. It'll want to use your current location. That's okay. When this link opens up, all you need to do to add Google Maps to your home screen or your springboard is tap the little arrow up here at the top. Well, it's going to ask you to do it automatically. Install this web app on your phone. Tap on the arrow and then add to home screen, okay? So we're going to tap the little arrow and when it comes up, we're going to hit home screen right in the middle right there. The one has got the little, looks like the little pin dropped on it right there. Now here you can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to stick with the Google Maps. Click Add. And now you have Google Maps on your springboard right here. Anytime you want to use it. Now this is the iPad 3, but it works on any other device Apple has. It doesn't matter what they are. Now it works just like it always did to me. Uh, personally, I never was much of a Google Maps fan. I like to get directions from there, but I never did per se use it driving down the road. But, uh, you know, now with the iOS 6, you've got turn by turn direction, so it might be an advantage to try the Apple Maps. I don't know much about the Google Maps or anything like that. But anyway, if, the, if that don't satisfy your need, there's a couple other options. There was one that I read about on the internet called Classic Maps but I couldn't find it but I have found one here called Maps Plus and this is what it looks like right here first of all as usual let's turn the brightness down I do this every daggone stinking time okay come back over here to Google Maps I'm not, not Google Maps but Maps Plus the little red icon right there on the left Maps Plus. And this is what it looks like. It requires, a, I think, a lot, maybe a $2.99 in-app purchase to unlock the whole app to get every feature. But there are several different ones. You've got alarms, location, pins, routes, search, settings. You can track, Twitter. You can do about anything you want to do with this. And once you get a route in there, then you can save it. And you can go back to it, you can clear it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. But it works fairly well, and you can check that out if you want to try it instead of the Google Maps. Don't forget, guys, I've got a new ebook just been released. I'll have the link in the description. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button before you leave, and keep coming back.